operation and maintenance costs are just the cost of keeping the plant in operating condition. Uh, so you think about the average monthly cost of staffing the plant. Um, you have to do maintenance. You have to keep the roof from, from leaking. You have to have security guards. Uh, you have to repair the fence. You have to uh, maintain the equipment in the plant. So these are all operation and maintenance costs, a different category of costs. And uh, there are going to be operation and maintenance costs each month for the power plant, and those are costs that you would add to your fixed costs when you're starting to add up those total costs of operating the plant. Um, now, it's possible that you might think about taking a plant out of service uh, or mothballing the plant for a while and then bringing it back into service later when it's needed. Uh, but it takes time and money to bring a power plant back online. Uh, the benefit of taking a power plant offline is there are some of these operation and maintenance costs you wouldn't have to pay. You don't have to have a fully staffed control room. You're not going to have uh, wear and tear on machinery, but you're still going to have to have security guards. You're still going to have to have. You're still going to have to keep the roof from leaking. So operation and maintenance costs come in, in several different flavors, some of which you're going to have to pay like fixed costs. Every month you're going to have to pay these no matter what you do with the plant. Some operation and maintenance costs you only have to pay if the plant is running, um, but we're going to take that second part of operational operation and maintenance costs and divide those once again. So once you have a plant running, there are a couple of kinds of operation and maintenance costs. There are some that you have to pay no matter how much the plant is running, but once you turn it on, you have to have a fully staffed control room. You have to have security guards at the gate. You have to have um, uh, uh, all the people there that are required to get the plant running and all the resources in place to get the plant running. But some of these costs won't change depending on how much you run the plant. While some operation and maintenance costs will actually get larger the more you run the plant. So for example, the more you run a generator, the more you're going to have to do maintenance on that generator. If it's not running at all, you're not going to have to do much in the way of routine maintenance on the generator. If you're running it a lot, you're going to have more routine maintenance to do on the generator to keep it running. So we have these different types of operation and maintenance costs, some of which are more or less fixed. Some are fixed only if you're running the plant, and some are costs that vary as you're running the plant more. Uh, so, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to divide these operation and maintenance costs up into sort of a fixed part and a part that varies with output, and I'm going to take the fixed part of operation and maintenance costs and just fold them into that monthly cost, that monthly payment cost. Um, and I'm going to take the part of the operation and maintenance costs that change as we increase the output of the plant, and I'm going to throw those into a different cost pot, the variable cost pot, which I'm going to talk about next. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want this to be a nice, simple, and straightforward example to work with, and um, it doesn't really hurt to take operation and maintenance costs and just fold them into these other costs. So we're going we're gonna to assume operation and maintenance costs are just part of these other costs so we don't have to worry about it as a separate category of costs. We know it's there, and, and we know they can be important, but since they have partly a fixed component and partly a variable component, we're going to fold them into these other parts of our costs and then we won't worry about them as a separate category of costs.